Okay, so this is the Milwaukee M18 BP battery planer. We're going to show you how to adjust the front shoe calibration to get a nice accurate cutting depth or planing depth. So when it's set for zero in here, it should take off nothing. If we go to 0 0.5, take off half a mil and set to one, one millimeter. And the same thing for two, should take off two millimeters of material. So if you change the blades or you're having trouble with it, not taking off the correct amount of material, this is how to adjust the front shoe calibration. So first, make sure you always take out the battery. I don't want to find out the hard way. Some of the tools you'll probably need, a plastic ruler, just an eight inch shifter will probably do the job easily, and a five mil flat blade screwdriver, that'll do the job as well. So you can get an idea if it's planing flat or taking off the correct material just by rotating the blade back and using the ruler just to sit it across the shoe face and you can quickly give the, the barrel a bit of a rotate you'll see it's not touching the ruler at all do that both sides that'll tell you that it's pretty much nice and flat and square now rotating back now to actually re adjust the calibration we start with the 5mm screwdriver now inside the cap lip somewhere in here you'll find a nice little hole nice little slot stick the screwdriver into that slot and give it a bit of a lever now you're going to have to work your way around a few different places to give it just a bit of a squeeze on all different size sides and it should eventually there you go pop up so that you can remove the the cap now inside the cap, you'll see it's got space for the nut. So the nut on the top here, this is the adjusting nut. You'll see that's where that sits inside the cap. And also you've got a heap of little spines or splines, little teeth. They line up inside there as well. They do. They just help give, give it the grip for turning. So now you've got the cap off. Take your shifter and basically just tighten it up on the nut and here you can undo or tighten up the nut as needed to either pull the shoe up to take more material off or if you loosen it it'll let the shoe come down further which will take less material off so because inside here is a nice big strong spring which is actually doing the bit of holding it and tensioning that shoe against this plate up here to keep it basically all level. So the idea is basically just if you need to take more material off, loosen it off. And what you can do, you can double check with the ruler first if you like. And slip the ruler back onto the bottom here and in this case it's actually moved by about two millimeters there's quite a bit of gap between the ruler and the blade itself so I'd want to in this case screw him back up a fair bit and you can just keep on checking with the ruler no not quite touching yet taking up a little bit more no, not quite touching yet. A little bit more. There we go. You can see now the, the blade is touching the ruler and dragging the ruler with the blade. So what I'd do now is back it off probably about eighth of a turn maybe. Just give that a bit of a wiggle, make sure you're right. And double check with your just touching with the ruler again probably go back another eighth of a turn there we go just make sure this is sitting still 
make sure it's actually moved when you're actually uh, adjusting that nut. There we go, not touching at all there. So, theoretically now, just put that back flat, you can put, you can actually just do a few test runs. So you can push the nut on, I think the cap on to the nut, but not all the way down. So it's literally just sitting there. The idea is that nut sits inside the splines in there and holds the nut in place. You can give that bit of a test run across your piece of timber, plane it off, see if, and the worst of the way I do it, make sure this is still set for zero, the adjustment knob, and then try the planing with material. If it doesn't take anything off, that's good. Adjust it up to say 0.5. If it takes off a little bit little bit of material off the timber, that's probably about right, that is. And then go back to something like the 0.01 or 0.1 millimetre and try that and see if it just touches the timber. Then you pretty much know you're on the money. That's set perfectly. So it just takes a little bit of trial and error of taking the nut off or taking the cap off, adjusting the nut and putting the cap back on temporarily each time. Give it a pass on the timber, see if you're happy with the results. You can double check it with the ruler, but I find actually doing it on the timber is more productive, more resultful. And so when you're happy with the final results, literally just push the knob, the knob back on the top here. That'll lock down and you're all done. That's probably the quickest and simplest way of adjusting the shoe and adjusting the cutting depth. Quite handy if You've changed the blades and they're not quite exactly the same as the old ones. Or you're just having some issues with uh, taking material off. So that'll give you a bit of an idea on how to adjust the shoe and the cutting depth and calibrate it all.